One annoying thing about document libraries in SharePoint 2013 and SharePoint Online is that the file type, the file extension, is not displayed in the document library when you open it up. So we're looking at an example document library right now. It shows that I have a number of documents in here related to the budget. You can tell, for the most part, which files are which based on the small little icon that Microsoft includes here, but some of these are actually pretty nondescript. Um, these two right here appear to be some sort of image file, but then there's file types that just get a bare bones white page icon that really doesn't tell me anything. There's a way to fix this. It's a workaround. It is not elegant at all. Unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't offer a way to show file types right after the name here, so you have to go in and do a little uh, switching around. What we're going to do is we're going to add a new column to the view of this document library. You have to be a site owner to do this, so you have to be able to get into modify views and to get into the library settings. So it's actually pretty quick and easy. The unfortunate part is you have to do this for every document library that you want to do it for. So if you go up to the library tab in the ribbon, when in doubt, go to the ribbon. If you click modify this view, it's going to bring up all the column names that are available to you and the four that are currently displaying are the checkboxes checked. The other one that we want to include is one called Name for Use in Forms. And what this does is it displays a text-only version of the file name with the extension displayed. Unlike the name linked to Document with Edit Menu, which is the one that's already showing, that doesn't show the, fi the file extension type. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to add this. We can't replace the Name Linked to Document with Edit Menu option because you still need to be able to click the file name to access it and you still need to be able to click the ellipsis, the Edit Menu, for the added information and options that that offers. Um, I'm, in this case, I want to actually see that name closer to the, the first name. The Modified and Modified By columns are not as important to me. So I'm actually going to make that column number three. And if I scroll up and I click OK, you'll see that I can now see all of the document file types here, which is actually very helpful. So in the case of the images, we couldn't tell which was which. One is actually a PNG file. One is a PSD file. It's Photoshop. And for the three files here that are all named the same thing, one of them you can tell is a PowerPoint file, but the other one is a Keynote file, which is an Apple version of PowerPoint. And uh, you know Microsoft doesn't have a way of showing what the icon for that is. And the last one is the video of the budget presentation. They're all named the same thing, and they're all valid names but you couldn't tell which was which necessarily without having the file names next to it. So that's a quick, easy way to fix this problem, or at least to, it's a, definitely a workaround. It's not an elegant solution, and it's not, a, a, it's not even a solution. It's just a workaround. But it does get you something that you want, and you can go off and do this in all the document libraries that you'd like. Hey, if you found this helpful, I got a full blog post with a little bit of an editorial that goes along with it as to why this is the case and why it should not be. Also, feel free to share this. I feel like a number of people that you probably work with that are site owners would probably like to know how to do this. And your users, the people, your colleagues who are your typical just everyday SharePoint users would probably find life to be a little bit less frustrating if this were enabled in your document library. So go ahead and do that. Follow us on social media. Sign up for our email newsletters. And thanks for watching.